so here we have uh, as close as I'm going to get to my final solve and uh, it's not too bad I have most of my profile intact um, I've grown a uh, unicorn horn and uh, uh, the textures are not too bad so we're going to go ahead and use this uh, for our base template but before we do that uh, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, get rid of some of the geometries that are here that I uh, might not want to bring into 3 Stream Max or whichever software uh, you decide to use for retopology. So in this case, um, let's go ahead and just draw a lasso around this portion. Just left mouse button, click and drag. We're going to do that right. Okay, cool. So uh, it just gave me a warning saying, hey, uh, if you're editing this, make sure this is the final resolution that, that you want to use. And that's just fine. So we'll go ahead here, grab this. And let's do a little horn removal. And uh, that's not too bad of a section there uh, on the top. It's pretty easy to replace something like that. And uh, for the most part, we're using this uh, mainly for the uh, for the reference. Since it didn't take too long to get to this particular point, it's going to save a lot of time uh, in the end. Uh, there are some details that uh, that we've lost some uh, some shape to it. Uh, some of these. Uh, shapes are there compressed so uh, that's something to t uh, keep in mind when we go ahead and uh, work on our final passes uh, uh, later on oh, here's a bunch of other stuff that I kind of skipped out on let's go ahead and get rid of you oh no okay so we got most of the geometries here and we'll just clean that up okay so now that I have uh, uh, this set up I can go ahead and just export FBX so we'll go grab this and Autodesk FBX, pick our location. We'll go to the K drive. And then we'll go to work. And we'll just make a new folder. You know what? Let's bring this new folder into our STE files uh, section, and then here we'll do just save that out. Okay, so saving out, I'm just going to take a moment now that's done, and this should be ready to bring into uh, your host application. In this case, uh, uh, we're using. Um, I have three Studio Max that we can bring it in, but you can bring it into just about any uh, any software that imports FBX, um, and that you feel com uh, comfortable uh, doing a retopology in. Um, so we'll just go file import. this we'll find our work and STE files one two three D catch
open this up and what's nice about this uh, in addition to getting the mesh getting the texture uh, you also have your cameras um, that are in place and you can use these uh, for camera projections uh, at a later process you probably don't need all of these cameras but you can uh, you can use them if you if you deem fit so I'll just hit f4 just kind of or f3 here so here's the mesh result and uh, when doing a retopology, it's probably useful to also have your uh, texture in place. So I just hit M, open up the material editor here, and uh, I can just bring in just a standard material. And this is what I'm going to apply to my mesh. Boop. And on my diffuse, just let that open up. There we go. Under my diffuse color, I'm just going to go ahead and apply my texture here. So let's grab a bitmap. Okay. And then we'll just go to my K drive. So we'll just go K. Yeah, work. STE. Just click there. So work. Oh, ST files. My mistake. Uh, one, two, three, decatch. Here's my texture. So now I should have a texture applied, and all I'm going to need to do is just show a uh, shaded material in viewport. Then now I have my uh, mesh with my texture applied which is uh, definitely going to help me um, make finalized topology decisions. If I just hit Alt W here, just maximize my viewport. Um, I'm going to turn off realistic shading. I'm not necessarily going to need that. My topology isn't that great and it's causing some distractions. So we'll just go to shaded or maybe even uh, constant, uh, consistent colors here. So there we go. And uh, we're ready to start the topology, uh, retopology process here.